all right hey youtube so this is going to be a quick video i need to make another one too but this one is going to have to be in code because i got my third strike and it actually should be my second strike for saying the word you know i didn't even say the word i said like the n word so i didn't even say the j word or but anyways in life right now you want to have eyes to see and pray for discernment, ears to hear, mouth to have a voice. And like, we're not putting fear. People keep saying we either put fear in people or we're fearful. No, we're not fearful because we have God in these last days. People are not realizing some people do realize what's going on and some people don't. So we're just trying to prepare people. And I feel like a lot of people are setting dates around blood moons and all these things like Easter or Halloween or 4th of July. And these days, it's, I believe no one who is guessing these dates are going to be right, you know, on a Pentecost or um, Tabernacle, um, Feast of Trumpets or whatever. I feel like it could be a day after. And it's just... That's why the Bible says it's going gonna, it's gonna to come unexpected. That's why, you know. But anyways, um, this is going to be in code. And sorry this is so long. So they're, they are trying to not only hack you, they're trying to track you. And they're going to track you by having the, I believe this is what's going to change people. And it's like, it's going to like hack a meaning. It's going to make you have certain behaviors later on or like a switch to flitch, a switch to flip, whatever, switch, whatever, flip the switch. It's going to just change the game. That's why I believe. And then it's, get, it's going to get to the point of the mark of the beast, which that's going to make you like not buy and sell. So the, this is basically not like the, the the you know a chip or anything i believe either a tattoo or a chip or something is going to be the mark um but i don't want to make this video long i know i had more to say in this video i just can't remember it and i wrote it down but i didn't it's been so long i wanted to say what i need to say and i don't remember um but people are worried about like your um phone or a smart tv tracking and watching you but really it's going to be that's this is what is is gonna hack track and watch and like change you and watch like it's not like they can watch you through the tv of a smartphone or your or your phone they're going to know where you're at, what you're doing at all times. And that's going to be the same thing for the Mark of the Beast as well. But with the Mark of the Beast, you won't be able to buy and sell. And as you can see in the news, there's a lot. I'm sorry, I got like hair in my face. My unbelievable. Um, I got to get ready to go too. Um, I have an appointment, doctor's appointment. And I know I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. Um, but um, what was I going to say? Oh, and you in with God. So if you're losing out in life or having to leave things behind or people behind out of your life or a job or et cetera, et cetera, just know that you're still winning. Because sometimes I feel like this year I lost a lot. And like last year I lost a lot. And like, just know you're still winning. And I've been getting blessed still, you know, and I'm just hoping for a better rest of the year and and rest of the next years <laughs> if we're still here i feel like the rapture may happen this year but if it don't happen this year it could happen next year but by 2024 i'm telling you after 2024 i don't think we're gonna be here um so i've had three rapture dreams and as you can see with the war of course we knew war world three was gonna happen you know people in um ukraine wasn't like preparing even though they put it out there you know, and back in the day, they would attack their enemies without telling them that they were about to. And they took it as like, oh, it's not going to happen. And then what's unfortunate is the U.S. don't think that anything can happen to us. Look at 9-11. 
It, there was no protection, no security. Now we have security and protection. We have security, but we don't have protection. Nobody can protect us but God in Jesus Christ. And you being prepared, stock up, stock up. Always keep your gas either halfway or full if you can at full. So that's what we're trying to put in people, not fear. Because people are living life like Americans can't get nuked or nothing. Like I believe the nuke spot to happen. And I believe when the nukes come down, we're going to go up. I, I, I believe that. But I do believe before we see the nukes, which not going to happen in a little while, but soon, you know, I feel like we still going to endure and go through things before we get raptured. Like we're going to see and go through more. Like this is nothing right now. I feel like um, this um, virus going to continue and it's never going to end. And there's going to be new vi variants after variants. I mean, not variants, variants. And of course, everything is set up and planned. It's put out here for it to happen um and yeah i feel like before the war is going to happen there's going to be food worse food shortages um and a lot of other things that happen before the nukes come down and i feel like the u.s is a target <laughs> it's nothing to fear but be prepared like being prepared is meaning right with the lord people think like my brother, he was like, You the only one who's scared. Like I have one brother that's uppity, the other one is cool. He's um yeah, he's cool and stuff, but the other one is uppity and was like, Um, you the only one scared because I was telling them to stock up and stuff. I was like, I'm not scared. You know, I'm not this is us not putting fear or trying to scare nobody. We trying to prepare you and to make sure your heart is in the right place. So when Jesus come back, you ready. And you have to be like not lukewarm. You have to be one hundred percent like in the clearing to escape judgment day escape um the tribulation the seven year tribulation you can't just be kind of good you got to be good to make it to heaven like you got to be in his book and you have to be on right terms living right doing right it's not it's a relationship with jesus christ it's not about going to church it's not about all that but god bless i know my it's time for me to go bye, -bye.